this is a Sunseeker Yachty, it's a 2012, and the interesting thing about this is the sheer volume that you get. So we're going to take a full tour of this. Now, I've recently filmed a Sunseeker 115 yacht. Worth having a look at that, because that was a big boat, but this just feels like twice the boat. It's incredible the difference that it makes with that extra length. They've got amazing volume into this one. There's a tender garage here. We're going to see that from the inside. But that lifts up, and this section of bathing platform drops, and you can roll your tender out straight out of there. But I say, we will look at that from the inside. This particular yacht has had a significant amount of money spent on it, upgrading it. 1.8 million in the last, I think, three or four years. So a lot of the stuff you're seeing here, particularly soft furnishings and so forth, this furniture here, teak's been refurbished, but a lot of that was spent on the engineering as well, bringing it absolutely bang up to date. The owner wanted this absolutely spot on, spent the money, got it done. There's an awning that comes out of here, as you can see, or you've got the bimini that can be attached as we've got at the minute. But we're gonna head on inside. Now again, we're seeing new carpet around the place, new upholstery, new cushions, all that sort of stuff, it's all been done. And so when you consider this as a 2012 boat, it actually looks brilliant. These are British built, of course, and you do get that sense of cordial, and that's for sure. Doesn't that look an inviting area? And look at the space. Now, bear in mind, this is not a full beam saloon. It doesn't go right out to the edges. There's walkways down on both sides of this, and that's what I mean about how much volume you get in this. It's quite incredible. We'll take a wander on through. A lot of ground to cover on this one. It is a big super yacht. Check this out. Can you imagine having a party there? <laughs> that would just be fantastic. She's um, five cabins, so there's a main deck master and four down on the lower deck. There's crew cabins as well, of course. We're going to look at all of that. We'll look at the engineering spaces. We're going to look at everything on here. We have carte blanche. There's a side access door here. So this is what I was saying about those side decks. You can see the steps come down and run down the side, so you can actually walk all the way around this boat. There's no compromise to that. You can lap it if you want to. These are the stairs down to the lower deck. We're going to look at that. Stairs to the upper deck. We're going to look at that. But we're going to go forward first of all. This is through to the crew area. I'm going to show you this, but just to show you this door, because for routing it's brilliant, because you can come up from here and straight in through here or into the galley area. All of that we're going to see. We'll stop briefly just to take in the day heads for the main deck. There's also a day heads on the upper deck as well. And again, that's what you get with this league of boat. You are up into the super super yacht. This is impressive, isn't it? Now we are the full beam of the boat. I mentioned the side decks that went along the sides. Well, they still continue along the sides, but they go up. We saw those steps, in fact, just by that door that went up. And then they go across, and then they go down. So you end up with just an absolutely magnificent area here. And the space is incredible. Let's press on forward a little bit further. In fact, if we loop all the way around, we've got dressing table over here. Load of storage in places like this, down here, over here. And over here is walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> Look at that. Fabulous, isn't it? Okay, we will head on forward. The ensuite is down these steps, and it's as magnificent as everything else. Check this out. How nice is that? So, the actual toilet compartment is over here, B day in there as well, and of course, that will close off thusly. And the shower is at the other end. So, we've got rainfall shower but we've also got all the water jets and that kind of stuff like so very nice very nice indeed <laughs> that's quite the cabin isn't it let's keep going because we've got plenty of ground to cover with this one so back into this lobby area these are the stairways up and down. We're going to head down. And there are four cabins down here on the lower deck, all guest cabins. Obviously, we've seen the owner cabin. 
and they're off like this. These are a great size again. And no sense of compromise on this one at all. It's fantastic. So we've got wardrobes about the place. Got this lovely dressing table here, and then this one has its ensuite down here. It's exactly the same standards we saw in the owner's cabin, just obviously a little bit smaller. But it's still got all the really complex sharing facilities and the twin sinks and the toilet and the bidet, so everything is there. Just scaled back slightly, but certainly not in any sense it gives you any feeling of compromise. Nice. All right. We have another one of these next door. Pretty much the same. There we go. There's new AV equipment in the boat as well. Again, the new carpets and that sort of thing. So let me show you one of these. There we go. This is what you've got here. And then we come back here. And again, pretty much what we saw in that other cabin, isn't it? Superb. Very, very nice indeed. And if we cross over, this is interesting. This is an emergency escape hatch. And what that does is it takes you in through to this cabin. So these can link together. And then there's another one here. And that can take you forward, basically, so that if this area ever became blocked with a fire, this cabin can get into this cabin, this cabin can go through here. And get into this cabin, and then this one can come through and that takes you through to the crew cabins and then there's steps up and out. So it's just routing really, so worst case scenario, it's very unlikely it'll ever be needed, but at least you know that if this was blocked, you can get out of any of these cabins. You'll find this one has got an escape hatch here that takes you through to that one as well. So all of these cabins can route through to here and out through there and into the crew cabin and out of the boat. In a worst case scenario, this being blocked, it's extremely unlikely, but it just means that you've got that reassurance. Anyway, <laughs> let's now stop and look at these cabins properly. So this one's a twin, as you can see. You've also got a Pullman. So that drops down, you've got the ladder that drops into place. I'll show you the cabin next door because the Pullman is up on that one, so you'll see the difference. But look at the footprint that you've got here. It's just huge, isn't it? Hanging locker's here. Ensuite is here. These cabins are slightly smaller than the two aft ones, but not by much. Separate shower. Again, the bidet, the toilet. So all the stuff is in here, just scaled back very slightly. And if we cross over, this one is also a twin cabin, but you can convert these. So you see this one here, how this bed has been moved across, a mattress goes on as a double mattress, and you end up with a double. And you can do that with the other one. You can have both of these configured either like this or as a twin. And again, there's a Pullman here, but this one is in the out position. So that comes down as we saw in the other cabin. And then wardrobes are here, drawers are here, and suite is here. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Okay. Let's press on. I think we've covered the lower deck pretty well. There is, I think there's a fridge in here, if I remember rightly. Yep, so if you want to grab a drink, they can do. And then just little bits of storage about the place for crew items and that sort of thing. Nice though, huh? That looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so we have done the main deck and we have done the lower deck. I think we'll have a look at the crew cabins we head on up. I think that will work well. That door there, we're going to go past that, I think. My routing is as I believe it is. But this time we're going to go across to this side of the boat. This takes us forward. Another crew door just here. Hi there. I'll step out of your way. No, you're Thank fine. You. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. So we've got a pantry area here, wine cooler, refrigeration. And that one there is an ice maker. And then the galley proper is in here. Check this out. 
Now this has had all new refrigeration right across the back here. We've got the cooking, as you can see, in the centre there. Dishwashing. Well, <laughs> galley stuff generally, isn't it? Look at this extractor fan. This is big league. And that is a very, very decent space. And nicely finished too. Look at the way they've done all this on here. And up in behind here. You'd be proud to have this in your house, wouldn't you? The only thing that sort of marks it out as a crew area is the high wear floor, which obviously you would want to have here because it's a high wear area. If we come across here, now this is the door that we saw that takes you through to, in fact, let me just show you very quickly. So that is those stairs down to the lower deck and that is the owner's cabin forward. So that means you've got a very instant route through the boat for the crew. You don't have to go round and through the saloon and back in again. And if we come down here, crew area. So crew cabins, crew mess. There's another galley down here. We've got TV, we've got monitoring system for the boat. We've got the uh, operating system for the boat there as well. And then there are three cabins here. I'm just going to show you one of them because these are very much still in use. So I'll show you in this one. So these are all twin bunked cabins and they all have their own ensuite. So it's a wet room and you've got the loo there as well, of course, and the sink in behind there. But it's nice. It's nice that all of them have got their own ensuite. Quite often with these, people have to share, but not on this one. Other than with your roommate, obviously. That's a good area, isn't it? And again, you know, you move up to this size of yacht from sort of circa 110 to 130. It doesn't sound like a big jump, but it is when you see areas like this. And there's another area I'm going to show you. These are the other two crew cabins, pretty much identical to what we just saw. And in fact, I said there's three. Is there four? Oh, well, that's interesting. All right, I have to check now. Okay. I stand corrected. Four crew cabins. That's amazing. Okay, one there, one there, one there, one there. And a separate captain's cabin, which I'm going to show you next, amongst other things. That's impressive. Glad I checked. Don't want to get things wrong. Okay, we're going to stand and take that in again just for a moment. And then we're going to reverse and we're going to come out of this door here, because I can show you that routing and we'll actually use it to come around and to go up. So that's where we went down to the lower deck. This time we're taking this one up to the upper deck. Now we've got like a sky lounge up here. I'm going to show you that, of course. But I'm going to take you forward, first of all, into the bridge. So up here is the helm station. And that, as you can see, is pretty damned impressive. <laughs> it's a proper place of business. <laughs> chasing the poor crew away. I do say it's absolutely fine. I don't need you to move, but bless them, they do like to move out of the way. And that's fair enough. Now, a lot of people at this point say, well, why isn't the <laughs> steering wheel in front of the seat? And the reason for that is because you don't drive these like a car. I say this all the time, but I get comments if I don't. Um, basically, the only time you use the wheel is in harbour, and then you want to be stood up and watching where the hell you're going. As soon as you get out to sea, then you're an autopilot and then you're here watch keeping basically keeping our audience instrumentation autopilot engaged navigation engaged and just monitoring everything we've got camera system on the boat you can see that's down to the aft deck navigation radar the um this is what we saw down in the crew cabin this controls the whole ship interestingly we've got a video of a crew member showing us that entire operating system so you can search that on Aquaholic if you want to see how that works It'll give you a full guide. It's about 10 minutes long. It's pretty complicated. Now, the other thing that you get on a boat of this calibre, apart from the fact you've got seating here, which is very nice, is if we come back here, this has got a proper bridge deck captain's cabin. And look at this. It's guest cabin quarter. It's fantastic. And that really helps. It comes to recruiting a decent crew. This sort of facility is fantastic. It has an ensuite. Don't think there's anybody in there. 
there we go. So the loo, the sink, and then a separate shower. I mean, you would be very happy with that as a guest cabin, wouldn't you? So to have that as a captain is fantastic. That's a nice space. Desk here, doing bits of work. Whatever else you want to do at your desk. Wardrobes here. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to go out this way, I think. There we go. Now I mentioned that those decks that go right around the whole boat, and you can see those are the steps down. That's the doorway that we saw that came out onto the side deck, and that will then run all the way aft to the cockpit. But we're going to go forward. Slide that one shut again. Pretty sure I'm right in saying that's a wing station. In fact, I can do more than be pretty sure. I can be certain. There we go. So throttle controls, thruster controls, but also helm controls. So that's steering, that's the rudders. And they're on both sides. Let's put that back as I found it. There we go. Obviously, if you're docking, you want to be able to stand here and look right down the side. And this allows you to do exactly that. Up here, we've got sunbathing. A nice four-deck area, actually, isn't it? And it's big. And this is interesting. You see these hinges here? And they're right across the here as well. If we come down here, this boat's been fitted out. Well, first of all, there's a crane here. I think I'm right in saying you can put jet skis up here. I think that's what that is for. Not absolutely certain, but I believe so. But this is what's interesting, because this whole clamshell here rises up and they fitted that with freezers and they've also got cool boxes in there as well that they can use so if they're having a beach party for example they'll bring those out fill them with ice and take them into the beach but it gives them extra refrigeration extra storage just a useful use of that area again big league windlasses bollards it's little ship stuff isn't it let's come right up to the front spin on round <laughs> check that out just fantastic. Okay, I think all that's left now is engines and the garage. So we'll come back down here. This is exactly the same as on the other side in as much as you've got the doorway out of the, um, of the bridge. No, wait, 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 wait. There's plenty more to see. <laughs> I haven't done the, the sky lounge and I haven't done the sun deck. Okay. Good recovery. <laughs> and I'll edit that out later. <laughs> oh, an idiot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more boats still to cover. This is a pantry up here. So if we open that one, it just allows this area to be catered for. So we've got the sink. We've got the refrigeration here. And so forth. And the other thing that we have up here is a new wine cooler which is rather impressively stacked, as you can see. And this is the Sky Lounge. This is a lovely area. So it just gives you a completely separate saloon area, but also it gives you kind of like a cinema zone. You know, if kids want to come up here, do some gaming, watch a movie, or indeed if you do, then that gives you that option. Bar area over on this side and this nice little I don't know, card table, call it what you will, use it how you wish. And then the ensuite, not the ensuite, sorry, the day heads for the upper deck is here. Very nice. But yeah, that was an impressive space. It would be a shame to miss it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's press on back. There's another level yet still to go. What's in here? Okay, so that's crew bits and pieces. Right, so this one we can open takes us out onto the aft deck, lovely outside dining area here. That's a great place to be. We've got seating around as well. Again, all very casual, all very comfortable. Bimini on here with the carbon fiber poles. Lovely. And a TV, so you could use this as an outside entertaining zone as well if you want. These steps take us back down to the aft deck and we'll go that way in a minute, but not before taking you up because the sun deck is up here. Check this out. So this is where you do your sunbathing. It's a bit breezy today. So we can have loungers across the back here, exercise stuff up here as well. Obviously you can use this however you wish. It's got the free weights on this one for example. But yeah that is a big sun deck. 
there's awnings that come out. You can see what the forward one extended, the aft one is retracted. So they come out of this arch here. And then right up on the top, we've got the uh, satellite domes, the radars, antennas, lights, all that sort of stuff. And right at the top, there's a camera. Keep an eye on everything. This table folds. So you can have it open like this for a massive dining area, or you can open these leaves, or shut them, I suppose, but you look at it, those retract those supports. And it means that you can then get through the center of that. So if you're just having drinks, you don't want that much space. You can do, again, all this is all reupholstered. Looks really nice, love this bar area here. And then we've got the jacuzzi. How nice is that? With this seating all the way around. If we come right round to the bow, you can see this one's got the Starlink system on it. That's where we were, where that clamshell opened up with the freezers inside of it. And then the bridge is down underneath here. Fantastic, let's come right on around. These sunbathing cushions are designed to fit on here. So if you don't want to use a jacuzzi, it becomes sunbathing. And then the bar area is here and we've got the usual refrigeration and sink and I would say with some confidence that there'll be a barbecue underneath there but with that thing on top I think I'll leave that alone this is these retracting awnings so you've got one that comes out here the other one does exactly the same coming out of that way good now we only have the engine space and the garage to show you so let's take a wander down and we'll find that so back down here back to the upper deck which was that dining area and then across down again back to the cockpit this is where we came onto the boat and we came up these steps here and then if we come around this way this is the engine space access so we'll swing that fella open and then we go steps down here This then is the engine room. We've got generators running at the moment because the shore power here, because it's a boat show, is not up to snuff for this size of boat. So apologies, it's a little bit noisy, but hopefully you can hear me okay. And I can tell you that these engines are a pair of MTU 12V4000. So they're 3,180 horsepower each, and they're giving the boat speeds up towards the mid 20s. I think it's about 24 knots, if I remember rightly. You cruise at 15. And then it is a planing boat, so if you're running at about 14 knots, you're getting just a little under 1,000 miles of range. But it's not a displacement, slow plodding boat. This is a fast planing boat. So, you know, you compromise this towards the speed rather than the range. But nonetheless, I say, you're still getting up towards 1,000 miles out of it if you're running at 14 knots. Big space, isn't it? Generators, as you can see, back here and over here tool chest in here as well and we can come right around these engines and then back here through this door we've got other stuff there's also an escape hatch here you can see how this ladder drops you can get straight out onto the deck from there that's another emergency route out there's air conditioning across here workbench is here and then the garage we come out of here and loop on around here we go we've got laundry facilities down here thusly and then in here garage so that's the back of the boat that lifts up and the bathing platform is directly behind that that drops this slides into the water this is a williams 395 so a decent sized jet tender and you've actually got quite a big footprint in here for other stuff so you can see they've racked it out over here for deck chairs and so forth also in here you can just see the jet skis over there so although there is that space in the bow you probably wouldn't tend to use it because <laughs> unless you wanted even more jet skis i suppose but yeah, that's probably enough for most people. Sea bobs, that sort of stuff, all can be kept in here. That's a decent space, isn't it? That's a proper garage. It's like going to your garage at home, that is. 
<laughs> Except it's got a boat in it, not a car. Fantastic. Good. Good, good, good. I think now we've done it justice. Let's come back out of here. And what I think I'm going to do now, for you lovely people, is... I sorry. No problem. I'm going to take you out and I'm going to loop you right round. This is where we went into the boat, this is where we came down from the upper deck. We're going to go this way. I just want to walk you around these massive engine beds here to get a scale of the whole boat. This is the saloon area. Remember I was saying how it's not the full beam of the boat, you can walk past it. That's what this is and it's on both sides and this is the door that goes in pretty much where that access through to the crew area is. So again, very good for crew routing. Bridge is here. And we're going to come right up onto the bow. And I think that's going to do us here. Well, that has been quite the ship and quite the tour. I want to say massive thanks to Dennis and Yachts who had this one for sale. And let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.